Yes. And what might a problem be? Well, in this room, there's a whole bunch of people. If we wanted to take attendance or count the number of people in this room, I might need to start、uh, keeping track of how many people I see. But how do I represent the number of people I see? Well, I can do it sort of old school, and I can just take out a piece of chalk or whatnot and say, all right, I see one, two, three, four, five. I can do little stylistic conventions like that to save space or remind myself one,、uh, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, and so forth. Or I can, of course, just do that on my own、uh, hand. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so forth. But obviously, how high can I count on just one hand? So 5, you would think, but that's just because we haven't really thought hard enough about this problem. It turns out that with just these five fingers, let alone these five more, I can actually count. Rather higher, because after all, the system I'm using of hash marks on the board or just now with my fingers is just kind of keeping my fingers down or putting them up to represent ones, really. But what if I actually took into account the order of my fingers and sort of permuted them, so to speak, so that it's really patterns of fingers that represent the number of people in the room and not just the mere presence of a finger going up or down? In other words, this can remain zero, this could still be one. But what if two is not just this, the obvious, but what if it's just this? So, raising just one, my second finger. What if then three is this? So we have zero, one, two, three. That's going to lead us to four, somewhat offensively. But if we can then jump ahead to five, five, I might now permute this finger and this finger up. And if I want to now represent six, I could do this. And now seven. In other words, I've expressed so many more patterns on my hand already. And if we keep doing this, I think I can actually represent, painfully perhaps, like 32. Different patterns and therefore 32 different people on my hands alone, or 31 people if I start counting at zero.